spread the fingertips. Try and link it with your breath. Inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the nose. Make sure your hips are above the knees. Give me a wave if you can't hear me properly. Otherwise, otherwise, if all goes well, you should be able to hear me. And then into your cat cow straight away. I'm just going to restack and spread the fingers. Inhale, open your heart. Exhale, round the back. More, inhale. Exhale. Last one, long arms, long neck, and exhale. Lock the toes, let's push up into your first downward dog. I'm going to keep it shorter than usual and pedal the heels. And then move the hands to the feet. Let's do a little forward fold. First halfway lift, inhale, long spine, just once, and exhale, drop, right rolling down, grabbing the elbows, side to side movement with the shoulders, you can bend the knees a bit more, just to make sure we are safe on those, on those lower backs, and then hands on the mat, walk it out, high plank position, Let's take a big inhale, exhale, drop onto your front. I'm dropping the knees for now. And then inhale, mini cobra, long neck. Exhale, come all the way to the front. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down. I'm going to lift into a full cobra, pressing the feet into the mat. Inhale, careful on your back, twist one way, twisted cobra. Back to center, over to the other side. Back to center, all the way onto the mat. On your next inhale, push up. I'm still staying on, your, on my knees. You're more than welcome to do full press ups and then tug the toes. And find a downward look again. Hip side to side. So we get the stretch down the sides as well. Long neck, long arms. Think about turning the creases of your elbows to the ceiling. Come to the front of the mat, feet hip distance, hands on your shin again, one more halfway lift, inhale, this time fold and grab the back of your knees, I'm still bending the knees, turn your head side to side, let's loosen the neck, keep breathing, long breaths. And then let's come up. I'm rounding the back, putting hands on the knees, restacking vertebra one by one, and roll those shoulders out. Reach up, inhale, standing cobra if you want to squeeze your bum. Slide back, bend, exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, reach up, let's fold forwards. Exhale, nice flat back. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, high plank, step it or jump it. I take that extra breath. Inhale, preparing for Chaturanga. And exhale, knees down or knees off. Inhale, cobra up with dog, press the feet down. And exhale, down with dog. I'm still going through the child's pose. You're more than welcome to go through your upward dog to downward dog. On your next inhale, bend the knees, look forwards. Exhale, make your way to the front of the mat. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. I'm going to come up with a flat back this time, bend the knees. Inhale, come up, reach up. Squeeze the glutes if you're doing the back bend. Exhale, hands to heart center. Reach up again, inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, high plank. Inhale, prepare for that press up. Exhale, Chaturanga, you can pop your knees down if you need to. Inhale, open Cobra up with Dukh as you're pressing the feet in. And exhale, down with Dukh in your own time. I'm leaving out child's pose this time. But if you're worried about your back, definitely drop the knees down first. 
On your next inhale, look forwards. Bend the knees, make your way to the front, exhale. Inhale halfway once you're there. Exhale forward. Bend your knees, flatten the back. Inhale, come up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Let's go one more time. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward. Start stretching those hamstrings gently. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, chaturanga, or take the extra breath. Inhale, as you push forwards, cobra, up with if you want the thighs off. And find your down with in your own time. Hold it for one more breath. And on your next inhale, bend the knees, look forwards. Exhale, make your way to the front. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Flat back as you come up, bend the knees. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to heart center and sandwich the feet together. Release the arms. Inhale, chair. Sitting the bum down, squeezing the knees, and I'm trying to sit on my heels. If you can, biceps to the ears, or maybe lower the hands. And think about sitting on your bum. I'm squeezing the knees as hard as I can. You might need the hands by your side or onto the mat. And sit down. Lift the heels when you need to. And then pop your bum onto the mat. We're looking for boat pose. So once I'm here, I'm sucking belly button in and starting to extend the legs. See how far it goes. Keep it in tabletop or extend. Hmm. Find the core muscles, suck in the belly button, scoop the tummy so it doesn't get to your lower back. Hold it for one more breath. And then roll onto your lower back, low boat first. Let's just stop here for a sec. And then tug the heels, hands by your side, lift up into shoulder bridge. Tailbone first once your head is down, inhale. And lift just once, tilt the pelvis, squeeze the glutes, knees are pointing forward. And once you feel your glutes working, interlace the fingers onto the, under the hips. Tuck the shoulder blades. Let's open up the chest. Hips. Press the little fingers into the mat. Lift the hips higher, but you're still clenching the bum. You're still tilting the pelvis. Hmm. One more inhale. As you exhale, lower your spine. One by one, starting from the top of the spine. Release those shoulder blades and fingers. And then tuck the knees into your chest. So we did a back extension. We are going to flex, flex the spine. If you just want to do an invert, then just stick your legs up to the ceiling. Bend the knees slightly if you need to. Go hands on the mat and start rolling your bum off the mat and then maybe dropping the feet, legs above you. Put your hands on your hips, support your back. We're going towards your plow pose. Make sure you can breathe. I'm just holding it here. Now suck your belly button in. And feel the core muscles working because you have to roll up again into your chair pose. Best to take a bit of momentum. So I'm going to release the hands onto the mat. Still pressing the elbows into the mat. Peel the spine down slowly. I wait for the tailbone to land. And then bend the knees. And then take that momentum, I'm going to lift the shoulders, use the hands on the mat, roll up onto your feet, feet together, chair pose. Oops. Once you're there, lift and find that chair pose. Bicep to the ears, bum still low, squeezing the knees, suck the belly button in. Lovely. Lift the right knee up as you stand up, stalk. And extend it out just for a sec. Push the right heel back, warrior three. Keep spreading the left toes, level the hips, and then find that warrior three. Push the fingertips to the front, lift that right heel high, level hips, feel the right glute working. One more lift from the thumb and the right heel, bend the left knee and step into a long lunge position.
Let's start with crescent lunge. Reach the arms up, bend the back leg slightly, and then sink nice and low. Release the shoulders away from the ears, and drop the back knee down. We're gonna twist and reverse. Your left fingertips are going down, all the way into your lower back, or on your right glute or right hamstring, and then reach the left, right fingertips up and give it a slight back bend. Bend that left knee a bit more. So you've got that hip flexor stretching the right hip. Back into your crescent lunge. So I'm lifting the arms first, lifting the back knee, take a big inhale, pivot the back heel onto the mat, warrior two and open. Left knee is pointing to the front and the left knee is above the left ankle. Shoulders back, tucking tailbone. Let's reverse, left fingertips to the ceiling, inhale. Keep bending the left knee, hold, exhale. Keep holding, keep breathing. Slide those right fingertips towards the right ankle. One more inhale, take it a bit further. Exhale, cartwheel down, push that left leg back. Hover the left foot for a sec. Three-legged high plank. <sighs> Pop the left foot down. Inhale, prepare for chaturanga. Exhale, sink through. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Take one more breath. Feel the shoulder stretching. Inhale, look forwards. Exhale, step or jump feet together. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, forward. Inhale, chair pulls straight away. Let's go for the other side. And let's have a little sit down here. Make sure your toes together, knees together. Boat pose. Start lowering your bum. Keep the heels down as long as you need to or lift them off. Hands behind you if you need to. Pop your bum down. And as soon as you're there, suck the belly button in. And then start floating the leg, both pose. Maybe extend. Any back pain, pop the feet onto the mat. As long as you scoop the tummy, you should be okay. Low boat, slowly lower it down. Lots of strength like your dish hold. And then tuck the heels up, hands down. Shoulders head down, shoulder bridge. Lift up just once. Inhale, till the pelvis. Exhale, hold. Interlace the fingers if you want. Tug the shoulder blades under. Press the little fingers in. Feel the opening in the front of your shoulders. Now checking with your lower back. Try and lengthen it by sending your tailbone to the ceiling, sending your pubic bone to the ceiling. Check that your knees are still pointing forwards. Release down slowly, shoulder blades first, hands and the spine. Plow pose, you have the option to keep the legs in the air. Just an inversion, or press the heels of your hands into the mat. Start rolling your bum over. Hands on your hips, or maybe straighten your legs. Flex the feet, open your feet about hip distance, maybe wider, and see if you can touch the toes down. If not, just keep them in the air. If you have the feet down already, Press the palms into the mat. Maybe even interlace the fingers again under your hips and press the little fingers into the mat. If you feel that you need to have your hips above your face and you're choking, hands back onto the hips and just lift the legs and that's okay. Suck your belly button in, hands flat on the mat, roll your bum down. Wait until your heels are above the hips and then bend the knees. We're gonna roll up into your chair. Crunch up. Let's take that momentum. Inhale. Use the hands if you need to. Roll onto the feet. Come into your chair. Nice. Stand up, left knee in. Stalk pose. Shoulders away from the ears. Spread the right fingertips. Find your balance. Clenching your right glute always helps. Extend the leg, standing staff just for a split second and then push the left heel back. Start hinging forwards, warrior three. Make sure you're leveling those hips there. Hold. 
long line, shoulders away from the ears, long breaths. Step back slowly into your crescent lunge first. For now, bend the back leg just to make sure your lower back is fine. Keep the neck long again. And let's drop down the back knee. Reverse it and twist it. Right fingertips on the lower back, on the left glute, on the left hamstring. Left fingertips up and slide back bend. Keep bending the right knee so you get that hip flexor stretch on the left side. Back to your crescent lunge. Reach up, lift the back knee. Pivot the back heel down, warrior two, open. Nice and wide. Shoulders back and down. Right knee above the right ankle. Shoulders above, right above the hips. Reverse, right fingertips to the ceiling. Let's just hold it here so we get that nice side bend. Keep sliding the left fingertips towards the ankle, but bend the right knee. One more inhale, reach a bit further. Exhale, cartwheel down, shoot the right leg back and hover it. Three-legged high plank. I'm going to pop the knee down, foot down, I mean. Inhale, prepare for chaturanga. Exhale, go through it. Inhale, cobra up with dog. And exhale, down with dog. Drop your knees onto the mat. Let's do a little bit of bank back bending. You know it so well. I'm keeping the toes tucked under. I just want your back muscles to work. Hands on the heel, starting with the, the arm to the front. Back bend. Maybe clench your bum. And lift your hips off. And push the hips to the front. And then come back. If it's too much, don't lift your hip that high. Other hand on the heel, starting with the arm. But then I'm clenching, tucking the pelvis, scooping the tummy, and I'm feeling that the glutes are working first before I even thinking about that back bend. Come down and again. First side, pay attention to the glutes, to the tuck in the pelvis, and then come back. One more. My knees are clicking everywhere, but make sure there is no pain. Start with the glutes. And then come back. Reach forwards. Find your high plank again. And then bend your right knee. So stick the right foot up to the ceiling. And then flip around into your wild thing. Outside of the left foot. Touch the right foot down. And then reach up to the ceiling. And then open up if you can. Give me that back bend very careful. Otherwise, just stay with your whole body opening to the right. Come back to high plank. Bend the left knee. Flip onto the outside edge of your right foot. Left foot down. Reach the left fingertips up or open the whole body up to the ceiling, up to the sky. Back to high plank, leave out the chaturanga, or take a big inhale, exhale, sink through, push forwards, feet are untugged, inhale, cobra up with dog, and exhale, down with dog. The more you push your chest through, the more rest you're getting on the wrist, but spread the fingertips. Look forwards, inhale, exhale, step or jump the feet together in the front. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, forward, forward. Inhale, chair. Let's go for it. Let's sit down nice and low. Roll into your boat pose. Sit down. Once your bum is on the mat, roll your belly button in and then find your boat pose. Low boat, roll onto your lower back. Hold it for another breath. Feel the lumbar spine flat. Shoulder bridge, tuck the heels, hands down. Lift, clench the bum. Interlace the fingers, glide the shoulder blades under. 
Till the pelvis on the top, feeling the glutes. Neck is long, shoulders away from the ears. Release, roll your spine down. Inversion or plow, knees in first. Start rolling over. The less momentum you're using, the more you press into the heels of your hands and tummy, the more core you're using. Take it as far as you wish. Hands on the hips is absolutely fine. Make sure you're not choking. Make sure you can breathe. Make sure your hands are on the mat. Start rolling down. I've got feet together. Now straight away, as soon as my tailbone lands, I'm going to roll up into the chair position. But hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's just stop here for a sec. Now have a little think. You want to do a pistol squat. Of course, we want to do a pistol squat, right? So I want to be on my left foot. So I'm going to bend the left knee into the bum, but keep the right leg straight. And then hopefully we stand all the way up. If not, you stand up in a chair and join us in a stalk pose. Make sure you're on your left leg. Let's gain the momentum. Let's go. We try not to fall over and stand up in your stalk first. You're standing on the left leg. Hopefully you did it better than I did. And you extend the leg. Meet us in your standing staff pose. Rest is the same. Push the right leg back. Warrior three, hinge, find that position. Lift the right leg nice and high. Long line, fingertips, heel high. Bend the left knee. Step into crescent lunge. Reach up nice and high. Straight away, we twist and then we reverse. Left fingertips behind you on the lower back or the right hamstring. The right fingertips reach up, slide back bend. Keep bending into the front knee. Any pain in the lower back, just keep nice and upright. Inhale, crescent lunge, arms up. Exhale, warrior two, pivot the back heel down, open. And sink down nice and deep. Inhale, reverse, right finger, left fingertips to the ceiling. Exhale, cartwheel down, push the left leg back and hover it. Now we've got a little challenge here. We go through a chaturanga, but I'm going to try and keep the left foot off and go into a wild thing. Just watch first if you're not sure. Inhale, exhale, sink. And as I come up, I bend that left knee and flip over. Now the variation here, go through your chaturanga, come up high plank, bend, flip over and find that wild thing. Lovely. So on your right hand, right foot down, left foot behind you, open the chest. And let's add a bit more. Come back into side plank. We did that on Tuesday. Bring the left knee into your armpit and step forwards into a long lunge position. Easy twist. Step the left foot in line with your right hand. Pivot that left rib cage, left shoulder to the ceiling, right leg straight. And breathe. Feel that lovely twist there. Put the left hand on the inside of the left foot. Walk your hands in the middle of the mat. Turn your hip, turn your feet parallel. Once you're there in the middle, wide leg it forward, forward first. Inhale, long spine, lift. Exhale, bend the knees, drop. Bring the hands in line with your feet if you can, or reach behind you, or reach the back of your legs. And hold that wide leg it forward, forward. Hamstrings, inner thighs. Turn the tailbone up and bend your knees slightly so there is no pain in your back. Turn back to the front of the mat to your left foot. Frame it nicely. On your next inhale, push the left leg up into a three-legged dog. Sweep it up and find a three-legged dog. Lift that left heel high. Straight arms. Maybe keep the right heel off of the mat. Keep dropping the sternum to the mat. You can wait for us in downward dog. Otherwise, I'm going to pop, pop the left foot down. 
Ripple forwards into your high plank. Inhale. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, Cobra, Upward Dog. And exhale, Downward Dog. Find a stretch. Take another breath. And let's do the other side. Look forwards, bend the knees. Step or jump forwards, feet together. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, forward. Inhale, chair. Reach those arms up. Let's sit down, both paws. Take your time. Take this slowly. Scoop your tummy once you're there. Release the shoulders away from the ears. Find your both paws. Extend the legs however far they go without hurting your lower back. I'm sweating so much. <laughs> lower back on the mat. Hold that low both paws. And then show the bridge. Tuck the heels up. Hands down. Head down. Scoop the tummy. Lift the shoulder blades first. Squeeze the glutes. Interlace the fingers. Open the shoulders by tucking the shoulder blades under. Bomb high. But scoop the tummy. Clench the bum. In the next round, you can take it into a wheel if you want. For now, just feel that your glutes are working. Release it down. Inversion or plow. Legs up in your own time. I'm using the heels of the hands, tummy. So squeeze the belly button into your lower back. Go as far as you want. Make sure it's about the hamstring stretching. It's not about choking yourself. Hold it for another breath. And then make sure your hands are flat. Legs together. Calm down. Have a little think. We can think about it later or go fast on it later. Pistol squat, you want to be on your right leg, right? So you want to bend the right heel into the bum, foot flat. The left leg is trying to stay straight. So let's gain the momentum. I'm crunching the tummy. Otherwise, meet us, meet us in a stalk pose. Come up into your chair if you need to. Once you're there, extend the left leg in the front. There you go, nice. And then start pushing the heel back. And then hinge when you're ready. Warrior three, we know the rest. Lift that heel high, lift the thumbs high, but your neck is staying long. Slow lunge back, bend the right knee. Long step, crescent lunge. Settle into it. Twist and reverse. Right fingertips, lower back, left hamstring. Left fingertips to the ceiling. Slowly lean back. Make sure it's safe on your back. Present lunge. Reach the arms up. Inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Open. And sink. Tuck the pelvis. Neck is long. Reverse. Right fingertips to the ceiling. Inhale. Exhale, cartwheel down. Right foot is hovering in high plank. Have a think. We're going to have to end up somehow in a wild thing if we can. I'm going to try and hover the right foot the entire time. Inhale. Exhale, sink. Come up, bend that right knee and pop it over. Open on the top. Otherwise, go through your chaturanga and then bend the right knee. Lift the hip high once you're there. Open the chest. Hmm. Side plank. Bring the right knee towards your right armpit. Take that slow step forwards into a long lunge. Easy twist. Level the hips. Right fingertips to the ceiling. Open up, rib cage to the ceiling. Back leg straight. Send that left heel backwards. Wide legged forward, fold. Right hand on the inside of the right foot. Walk the hand to the middle. Lift your bum up. And drop that chest if you want to do a little halfway lift first to sort out your spine. And then, man, feel free to do that. Take the stretch further than before. Let's walk back to the right foot. Turn into that lunge position again. 
Hands flat. Sweep the right leg up, three-legged dog. Big inhale. Let's just hold it here. Squeeze the glute. <sighs> Arms are straight. Keep dropping the chest. I'm feeling that lovely strength, stability and mobility in the shoulders. Drop the right foot down. Wait for us here, Uchadaranga. Inhale, come forwards, high plank. Exhale, sink through. Inhale, cobra up with dog. And exhale, down with dog. And we are ready to start again. I'm going to start a bit differently. And I'll give you options. Bend the knees, look forwards. Inhale. Exhale, feet together, step or jump to the front of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, forward, forward. Inhale, come up with a flat back all the way into a standing position. Tadasana. And exhale, hands to heart center. And we are going to start with your po um, staff pose, stalk pose. Roll the shoulders back. Spread the toes. Start with right knee and stalk. Lift the arms. Now from here, option, stand into your chair pose. Feet down, sit your bum down. Find yourself on your boat pose. Otherwise, extend that right leg. Arms to the front, sit down. And then, bum down and find your boat pose slowly. Pay attention to your um, stomach muscles. So find yourself in your boat pose. You've been standing on your left leg. Just remember that. We will come back onto the left leg. Low boat. Carry on. I'm sorry, I'm stuck. Tuck the heels up. Shoulder bridge. First for everyone. So we activate the glutes. Feel the clench. And you either tug the shoulder blades under or reach the hands under your shoulders. Make sure yours is better if you're doing the wheel. And make sure you lift from the glutes. Slowly bring it down. Sorry, it takes my breath away. Bum down slowly. Please be careful with this one. And then inversion or plow. Roll over if it's there. Make sure you can breathe. Now, before you bring the bum down, back into the same um, pistol squat. So your left foot needs to be flat and your right leg needs to be straight. You decide how you want to get there. Let's go for it. I'm bending that left knee into the, into the bum and then I'm rolling down and over. And then find your pistol squat. It might be chair. Stand up slowly. And meet us on your left foot, staff pose, right leg straight. Lovely. Now let's go for the rest. Sweep that right leg back. Hinge, warrior three. Level hips, lift everything nice and high. Step into crescent lunge. Inhale. Left hand behind you. Reverse and twist. Exhale. Sing the hips low. Slide back bend. Inhale, crescent, arms up. Exhale, warrior two. Open. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, cartwheel down and hover that left leg. When you're ready, sink through it, but wild thing afterwards. Sink through. I'm bending that left knee already. Wild thing over. Open. You have another back bend here. Lots of back strength here. I'm on the right hand, right foot. Side plank, hover that left knee, step forwards into easy twist, long lunge, left fingertips to the ceiling, drop that hip nice and low, pivot the left rib cage up, wide legged forward, forward, hand left hand on the inside of the foot, bum up, a little halfway lift if you want, as you exhale, fold, by all means grab the back of your legs. If you're a bit more bendy, bring the feet closer so there is space for your head. Turn the tail one up. Now 
Come back to the front of the mat, go into that lunge. And I'm going to change it from here. You're going to go into a half moon pose. The left fingertips are going to travel to the front. Reach forwards and then open the whole body. Stack the right shoulder on the right um, left shoulder, the right hip on the left hip. Flex the right foot and point it out to the side. So you've got another little balance here. Reach those right fingertips to the ceiling. Option if you want straight away. Bend the right knee and grab that foot from the inside. So you're giving it that extra hip flexor stretch. Gently push that right foot into the right hand. Release back into your half moon. Now the tricky bit, we need to stand up into the stalk. So I'm going to level the hips, bending the left knee, reaching the right fingertips to the front. Come into your warrior three. Please be careful on the left hamstrings. Now stand up slowly and push that right foot to the front. Arms to the front. And then bring the feet together. Release the arms. We're going to flush it out with the sun salutation. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward, forward. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, chaturanga. Or meet us in downward dog. Inhale, cobra, off of dog. Exhale, downward dog. Hold. Next time you inhale, bend the knees, look forwards. Exhale, step or jump to the front of the mat. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Standing on your right foot. Left knee up. Arms up. You can go into your chair if you want to now. Otherwise, I'm extending the left leg. Arm to the front. Let's sit down into your board pose. Take your time. Bomb down. Find the tummy muscles. Join the legs together. Find that board pose. Suck in the belly button. Low boat. Lower back down. Tuck the heels into your bum. Hands down. Start with the shoulder bridge for everyone. Activate the glute on the top by clenching, tilting. Tuck the shoulder blades under or the hands under the shoulder. Full wheel if you want. Careful on the back. Slowly bring it down. Carefully tuck the knees up if you need to. Careful on your back. Plow or just an inversion. Legs in the air. Take about a couple of breaths, maybe three. And before you roll down, think face or squat or chair. I'm going to bring the right heel into my bum. So I'm going to end up on my right foot and hopefully the left leg will stay straight. Slowly gain the momentum and roll up. Meet us in standing stuff. So if you've done the chair, lift that left leg up, arms to the ceiling. Nice, standing stuff. Push the left heel back. Warrior three hinge, leveling hips. Fingertips to the front if you can, long neck. Hmm. Suck the belly button in so there is no pain in the lower back. Bend the right knee, long and slow step back. Crescent lunge, reach up. Right fingertips behind you. Reverse. Ooh, and give it that slight back bend. Very careful on the back. Reach up, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Open up. Sing nice and deep. Reverse, right fingertips to the ceiling. Inhale. Exhale, cartwheel down and level up uh, over the right foot. We've got wild thing off to this. You can go into it if you want. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, sink. I bend that right leg. Come up and flip over. Open. Hmm. Try and turn the shoulders. Hips to the ceiling. Side plank. Hover the right knee. Step forward into lunge. Easy twist. Find that easy twist. Find a twist in the back. 
turn that right rib cage up. Right leg it forward, forward, hand on the inside of the right foot. Walk to the middle, halfway lift if you need it, inhale. And exhale, give it that hamstring in a thigh stretch. Your head is already on the mat. Bring the feet closer, challenge the hamstring stretch. Walk back to the right foot into your lunge and frame that front foot first. Next time we can leave this bit out. We've got the half moon. Reach the right fingertips forwards. Float into that balance. Open the left shoulder on top of the right. Left hip on top of the right. Flex the left foot, point it out. Feel that the whole body is opening out to your left. If you want to reach back for that left ankle and gently push that ankle into the foot, no, what? Into the hand to open the hips, a bit more stretch in the hamstrings. Release into half moon and then start leveling the hip and reach the left fingertips to the front. Bend the right knee. We try and come back into the warrior three. We stand up into your stalk or your staff pose. Extend it and step down, feet hip distance, arms by your side, flush it out with one sun salutation. Inhale, reach up, exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward dog, hold. And let's drop the knees. Let's do one headstand because everybody loves a headstand. If you know it, go for it. Forearms, elbows no wider than your shoulders. Interlace fingers except for the first two, the uh, last two, the little ones I'm trying to say. Top of the head, right behind your hands. One high. Walk the feet in and press the elbows into the mat. Press. Feel that the elbows are trying to take the weight off of your toes. And then maybe just bend one leg. Maybe the other one, just play with that. Otherwise, find your own um, headstand. Have a little play. Whatever you choose, try and come down slowly. Take a few attempts here. If you do manage to go up, make sure you're coming down slowly. That's what builds the strength in your stomach muscles. Take a few more seconds here. Get out of the way if the legs are long. And then slowly sit into child pose with us. When it comes to the wide legged forward fold, you're more than welcome to have another go. We'll take our time with that. We have one more round of your flow, one more each way. So let's do that because everyone is very excited about that, I'm sure. Reach forward, spread the fingertips. Downward dog. Find a stretch, take another breath. Look forward, bend the knees. Step or jump to the front. Inhale halfway. Exhale forward. Stand up all the way, inhale. Exhale, hands to heart center. Spread the toes. Lift the right knee. Reach the arms. Good time to go into your a chair if you want. Otherwise, standing stuff. Sit into your boat pose. Find your stomach muscles. Find your high boat pose. Hold. Let's make this round good. Low boat. Suck the belly button in. Feel the squeeze in the stomach muscles. Shoulder bridge, your wheel. Start with shoulder bridge so you can really tilt the pelvis and your glute muscles help. Go for it, whatever you're doing. Hold it for two to three breaths. You all right? We had a little accident here. Carry on. That's why you shouldn't be here, guys. 
Tuck it in once you're down. And then let's go for your inversion or plow. Make sure you're not choking yourself. Feel that your back is bending the other way. Now, start coming down. Think about your pistol. I'm going to bring the left heel into the bum because you're going to stand on the left foot. Go for it, otherwise chair. Let's go. Meet us in your standing staff. Right leg should be straight. Warrior three, push that right heel back first and then hinge. Keep the tummy tight. Lift, 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 lift that heel, keeping the tummy tight. Bend the left knee as slow as you can. Step back into your crescent lunge. Reach up. Left fingertips are going back. Reverse that twisted lunge. Reach the arms up, straighten your spine. Inhale, exhale, warrior two. Open and sink, low, 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 low. Make sure your left knee is pointing forwards. Reverse, left fingertips up, inhale. Give it a nice side bend. Exhale, high plank, hovering the left leg. Prepare for your chaturanga, straight into your wild thing. Sink through, come up, bend that left knee. And flip over. Open up to the ceiling as much as you can or stay in side plank. Back into your side plank. Hold the left knee. Lift the hip a bit higher. Step forwards. Easy twist. Good. Turn that left rib cage up. Now you have the option here to put, pop the right knee onto the mat and do a quick quad stretch because this is our last round. Reach back with that left hand. Grab the right foot. Drop the hip lower and maybe pull that left heel, right heel onto your bum. And hold it for three, two, one. Back into your easy twist. So lift that back knee. Wide leg it forward, forward, and down. Walk to the middle. Big inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Guys, if you want another headstand, go for it. If you want to have a go with your tripod, with your palms down, make sure your head is in the front, not in between the hands. Maybe have a go with that. Please be aware that it's easy to fall over. Otherwise, just stretch with me for three, for two, and for one. Now bend the knees. Look towards your left foot once you're there. And I'm turning that foot out. I'm going to float into the half moon straight away. Left fingertips, go. Find that balance. Stack the shoulders, stack the hips. Once you have the balance, reach back for that right foot. Gentle push into that right, right hand. So you're opening the hips. I feel more stretching the left hamstrings. Release the leg. And start leveling the hips. Reach the right fingertips to the front. Bend that left knee carefully. Come into warrior three. Stand up into staff pose. I'm very happy with stalk bent knees or staff. Hold it for one more breath and then step it down. Arms down. Sun salutation just to flush it out. Wait for us here if you want. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, chaturanga or leave it out. Inhale, cobra, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Hold it for one more breath. Next, inhale, look forwards. Exhale, step or jump to the front. Inhale, cobra. Oh, halfway lift, sorry. And exhale, forward, forward. Bend the knees flat back, come up, inhale. Exhale, hands to heart center. And we've got the other side, piece of cake. Release, spread the toes. Stand on your right foot. Left knee up, arms up. Stalk, you've got chair. All standing stuff with straight knee. Let's do that pistol, because we love it. Sit down, let's meet in your boat pose. Activate the tummy, so I'm drawing in the belly button and I'm joining the other leg. Long breaths, neck is long. Shoulders away from the ears. Low boat, go as slow as you can. Really use those stomach muscles. 
Just for a sec, if you want to bicep to ears, proper dish hold. Who CrossFit is where you are. Bring it back. Shoulder bridge or wheel for the last time. Tuck the heels in, start with shoulder bridge. Really squeeze the glutes on the top. That should protect your back, so keep squeezing. And then go for it, whatever you do. Once you're down, make sure you're slow with this one. Tuck the knees in fast, so you feel, feel the stomach muscles. And an invert or plow. Careful, no back pain. And hold it for three. Hold it for two. And think about your pistol. I'm putting the right heel into the bomb. Let's go, last one. Chair is good for me. Meet us in standing staff. Your left leg is straight, you're standing on the right foot. Push the heel back and then start hinging. Warrior three, bend the right knee as much as you need to. Lift everything long, high, stomach muscles in. Now let's take that very, very slow and low lunge. Land the foot, crescent lunge. Inhale, sweep that right leg back, or arm back, and then twist that reverse lunge. Hold that back bend. <sighs> Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Open and sink. <sighs> hmm. Reverse, right finger is to the ceiling. Inhale. Exhale, cartwheel down high plank. Hover the right foot. Think about that wild thing. I'm sinking through. As I'm coming up, I'm bending the right knee. And then flip over. And hold. Really open up, show the stability, press into the left heel of the hand. Side plank, over the right knee, and then make that step as slow as you can. Easy twist, stepping forwards into long lunge. Right fingertips to the ceiling, twisting that right ribcage to the ceiling for the last time. If you want to pop down the left knee, reach back for that quad stretch. Drop the hip first before you pull that heel down. Release back into your easy twist. Wide legged forward fold. Make your way into that forward fold. Do a little halfway lift inhale. And exhale forward. And this is your option to do another headstand. The last one if you want. If not, stay with me. I'm just gonna bring the feet closer. And the lengthening spine, really stretching into it. Hold it for five. Hold it for four. Three, two, and back into your forward fold. Let's look to the right, turn the right foot, right fingertips, half moon, ready, go. Float into it, open the whole body out to your left. Stack the left shoulders on top of the right. Stack the left hip on top of the right. Flex that left foot, reach back for that top foot if you want. Gentle press into the hand. More stretching the right hamstrings. You might feel it in the front of your left hip. Release the foot, half moon. And then level the hips. Reach the left fingertips to the front. I need to bend the right knee. And then warrior three. Come up, come up, come up, come up. Long line between the fingertips and the left heel. Turn the left toes down. Stand up into your standing staff or stalk. Reach that left knee to the front, left foot to the front, I meant to say. And step down, arms down. Last sun salutation. Inhale, reach up. Let's flush it out. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra upward dog. Exhale, downward dog and hold. Take three long breaths. Nice and warm. Stretch those shoulders, maybe below your heels. Stretch the hamstrings. Good 
Lift your right leg behind you, three-legged dog. Bring the right shin behind the wrists, pigeon. After those pistol squats. Shift that left knee back. Try and level the hips. Come onto the fingertips and lift the spine. Big inhale. And exhale forward onto that right shin to stretch your right glute. You walk as far as you want. Relax your head on the mat if you need to. And take a few long breaths. Find your own glute stretch if you've got a different one. Make sure you can feel it in your right hip. Inhale for three. Exhale. Inhale for two. Exhale. Inhale for one. Exhale. Bring the hands back to the knees. We're just going to do one more hip flexor stretch on that side. So tug the back toes, lift the back knee, but first draw in the belly button, round your back, push back into three-legged dog. And then step the seam leg on the outside of your right hand into lizard. Hmm. Look forwards for a sec. Drop the hip, back leg straight, just for a breath, and then drop the knee. Untuck the toes, and if you can, come onto your elbow. By all means, lift the right toes, turn them out to the side, drop that right knee out, and then maybe come onto the elbows. If you want to, press the right heel of the hand gently into the inside of your right knee. It's more of an opening in the chest, turning the right shoulder up to the ceiling and a very gentle pushing to the right knee. I actually feel it in my right glute as well. Come back onto the hands. Do the same with the core. First engage it. So tug the toes, lift the back knee. Level your hip and turn the right foot to the front. Round your back, push back into three legged dog. Inhale and drop that foot down into downward dog. A bit of moving around is good. A bit of stretching the shoulders is good. And then lift the left leg, inhale. Pigeon first. Left shin comes behind the wrists. I'm crawling that right knee back. Finding the glute stretch. Hips are level, back leg straight. Onto the fingertips, lift the spine, inhale. Exhale, walk forwards as far as you want. Find that stretch in your left glute. This is our second side with the pigeon stretch. And we've done a hip flexor stretch in your lizard. So I'm just saying that to Paul. We've lost them for a sec. Take those long breaths. Feel the stretch. Lift up slowly. Let's do the lizard first. Hands flat. Tug the back toes. Lift the back knee. Round the back. Push back into three-legged dog with the left leg. Inhale. Exhale. Step forwards into your lizard. Outside of your left hand. I'm keeping the back leg straight for a bit, but I'm dropping the hip. So I'm already feeling the front of the right hip. Right knee down. Untucking the toes. I'm lifting left toes, turning out on the outside edge of my left foot, and then coming onto the right elbow, maybe the left elbow. Again, if you want, a gentle push into the left knee with your left heel of the hand, but turn the left shoulder up first, and then push gently. And then come back onto your hands. Tuck the back toes. Round the back as you lift the back knee. Push into three-legged dog. Inhale. Exhale. Find your last downward dog as you place that left foot down. One more stretch in the shoulders with straight arms. Shoulders away from the ears. Maybe dropping the knee uh, heels to the mat. And then drop your knees. Find yourself on your bum. 
legs straight, heels together. Grab that strap if you need it. I'm gonna move the flesh out of the way. There is plenty. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold. One more halfway lift just to make sure the spine is long. Inhale. And exhale, hold that forward, forward. Hold that hamstring stretch. Two more long breaths. And then sit up slowly. Tuck the right knee in. Across on the outside of your left foot flat, uh, sorry, left thigh flat. Right fingertips behind you, draw up tall. Left arm up, inhale. Exhale, press that left elbow against the right knee. Twist, look over your right shoulder, long spine. center. Release that right foot away. Straight. Shake it out. Bring the left knee in. Across. Foot flat. Left fingertips behind you. Long spine. Reach the right arm up. Inhale. Exhale. Twist. Press that elbow into the knee. Look over that left shoulder. Long, long spine. to the front, untangle, release the legs down, give them a final shake and then let's finish it off with your neck stretches. Legs comfy, sit on a block if you want, long spine, shoulders back, ear to shoulder one way, hold, feel that lovely stretch, other way, Back to center, lift the chin, inhale. Exhale, drop the chin. Roll your head one way. Take it slow, take a big circle. Feel the loosening, shoulders away from the ears. Change. Keep breathing. Lift your gaze, drop the shoulders back and away from the ears one more time. Inhale, reach off to finish it off. Exhale, hands to heart center. Thank you very much, everyone. Namaste. Well done, guys. Hang on. I think you're a bit far. Wait for me.